perhaps a big question for your party today is the kind of the quality of candidates that are coming forward whether or not in practical terms they can actually match a muhammad buhari at the post considering their historical antecedent as politicians for example a bukola saraki can he do that job can he can he pull that trick out yes he can i can i make bold to say that each of the major candidates of the people's democratic party has the capacity has the ability has the competence to defeat President Mohamed Buhari at the polls, each and every one of the candidates of the PDP. As a matter of fact, I think that it ought to be a thing of pride, and it is indeed a thing of pride. And we have candidates, we have aspirants of this quality seeking to lead this country out of the sort of doldrums that we have been led into in the last three years. Um, uh, Senator Bukola Saraki possesses, indeed, in direct answer to your question, possesses the ability, possesses the competence, he possesses the track record, he possesses the understanding, he possesses the dynamism, he possesses the color, the life, he possesses, you know, the ability to defeat President Mohamed Buhari in the, in the coming elections in 2019. That's going to be interesting. Honorable Katos, let me quickly get your take, just in about 30 seconds now. What stands uh, in the uh, well, spheres uh, the, the APC interface is perhaps some of the names that we've seen. Uh, and those numbers, some political analysts are of the opinion that the numbers the president has always had in uh, the past times may not be the same. Are you afraid of that? Um, let me say this, vertiprations and abuse is the end of reason and intellectual mandarism. That is to say that when you have intellectual dwarfs re renegating themselves into abuse, <laughs> it is nothing but the shortage of ideas. There was no abuse. But let me say this there to you. There was no abuse here. The kind of thing you describe as a dead presidency I couldn't, didn't... Have, couldn't have attracted, for example, a lifeless presidency can't but, attract the volume of persons and the quality of leadership. Merkel has been here, he has been there. The ICC has in invited President Buhari, the first president, not just the black president, but the first president in the world, and as we speak, he's off to China, and Donald Trump, who described and used the phraseology lifeless, has been more in tandem All right. and in one. Because we're, we're, we're out of president. time now. And the world has rated him one of the most incorruptible, the most credible, and of course... All right. Because we're out of time, Honorable Clatus, let me allow Mr. Shawara to give us a, a, a final word tonight on the program. Mr. Shawara, in 30 seconds, how do you hope or think that these race will pan out, considering the antecedent of some of these uh, people in the race, including yourself, in 30 seconds. I, yeah, I said it, uh, that uh, this is a period in the history of Nigeria that those old guys will be shocked because they're about to be shoved out of uh, the political system and uh, into oblivion. But uh, they are still cocky. They don't believe this is going to happen. There's a lot of uh, movement going around the country. There's a lot of people who are disenchanted and upset and they have obtained their PVCs. And they'll be surprised. You know, I have to All say right. finally that you should forget about the articles of this world, the Sarakis of this world, the, uh, the Buharis of this world. Their time is over. All right. We, we, we need to go on that point. I, I, I most sincerely thank you so much, Mr. Yellow Showara, for your time on the program today. Also, Honorable Clyde Sabun, a chieftain of the APC, and uh, Mr. Elamana Onoja, we hope to find you again on the program. Thank you so much for your time and your thoughts on the program. That's our show for today, everyone. Many thanks for being part of it. I'm Sean Kimbale. Bye-bye.